The revolve command adds or removes material about an axis of revolution, and the revolve command can use either an internal or an external sketch. I already have a sketch in my model, so I can select it, and from the mini toolbar I can choose revolve. And I don't get any preview of geometry because I need to specify what I want to use as my axis of revolution. And I can pick an actual datum axis in my model. And there you can see what I get. Or I could choose geometry from the sketch itself. And depending on what I choose, you can see that I'm getting vastly different results. I'm going to cancel out of here to show you some changes I can make to the sketch. So I can click on the sketch and then use Edit Definition from the mini toolbar. First off, I can create a geometry center line in my sketch and use it as the default axis of revolution. So I can click on the center line command and then locate it in my model. And one thing I want to point out is that there are actually two center line commands in the ribbon. There's one that creates a sketch center line. The other one, other one actually creates a geometry center line. And it's the geometry center line that you can then select, right mouse click and hold, and designate as the axis of revolution. The other thing that I want to point out is the dimensioning scheme for my sketch. So right now this six dimension and the weak dimensions for 2.5 and 4.5 those would correspond to radius dimensions for the geometry that would be created and actually i want diameter dimensions because that's what i probably would want to have on a drawing and what i'd want to inspect because i can use calipers to measure a diameter to create the diameter dimension you're going to go to the dimension command and that's going to be three alternating left mouse clicks starting either on the center line or the geometry and then middle mouse button and I'm going to use a value of three let's do that again over here left 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 middle mouse button and I'm going to enter in a value of five and one more time left 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 and then middle mouse button and this time it says hey there's a conflict you're not allowed to over dimension or over constrain your sketch I can't have a radius dimension and a diameter dimension simultaneously uh, I could change the sixth dimension to a reference dimension or just get rid of it entirely I'm going to accept the value of 12 now to get out of sketch mode I can right click and hold and from the pop-up menu click the check mark and with my sketch still, still selected, I'll click on the revolve command. And there you see how it's using the internal center line as the axis of revolution. Let's complete the feature. I can hit the check mark or middle mouse button. And I've got my first revolve in the model. And this adds material. Let's create another revolve. And this time I'm going to do an internal sketch. I'm going to start the revolve command. And then you can pick the flat planar surface or datum plane that you want to sketch on. I'm going to sketch on the datum plane called front, and that takes me into sketch mode. Let me turn off my datum plane display and change to no hidden line to make it easier to see, and also the sketch view. All right, I want to create a sketch over here, and I want it to lock into the geometry in my model. So if I right mouse click and hold, I can choose references and I can pick this flat surface over here, but I also want it to lock into this cylindrical surface. I can actually pick it. That's what's called a silhouette edge. So now that I've got my sketch references, let's right click to get to our sketch tools. I'm going to sketch a couple of lines. And Let's change this dimension to a value of four. Just like before, I want a diameter dimension, and I'm also going to de define my axis of revolution. When I put in the center line, hey, look, it automatically gave me a diameter dimension. Let's change that to a value of two, and just make sure that this is, oh yeah, since I'm in an internal sketch, 
Let's go back to a shaded mode. Since I'm in an internal sketch, it was automatically going to use that internal center line. Okay, let's right click and hold and I'm going to have this remove material. I'm going to have it be a cut. And right now it's going about 360 degrees. From the options tab, I want to show you that you could change the value either on the screen or in the dashboard here. And right now I have a side one depth of 20 degrees. Instead of a variable depth, I could right click on here and choose symmetric. And this will put 10 degrees on one side of the sketch plane, 10 degrees on the other side of the sketch plane. And let's also take a look at changing that to two selected. And for two selected, I have a couple datum planes in here. Let's go ahead and show them. And for my feature, right now I have my material being removed. Let's go and change that. I actually didn't want DTM2 for my two selected depth. Let's turn on my datum plane display. I actually want this datum plane. There you can see that I have the uh, side one depth. To have the datum plane drive the depth on the other side, I can right mouse click and choose side two. And right now I have a variable depth. A little trick, if you're dragging the angle and then hold down the shift key, that'll allow you to quickly switch to, to selected and lock into whatever you selected when you're dragging and holding down the shift key. So that's good for my cut. Let's hit the check mark and turn off my datum plane display. Then I can do things with this revolve feature like pattern it. And instead of doing a dimension pattern from the drop down list, I can create an axis pattern. And right now it's giving me four instances 90 degrees apart. By clicking this button, I'll get four over 360 degrees. Or maybe I want to have a total of let's say 12 over 360 degrees, hit the check mark, and there I have my revolve being patterned. So that is the revolve feature. I hope you like this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when more videos are uploaded. Thank you.